The Hawkeyes are a couple days away from taking on one of the college football's greatest defenses in Mississippi State. A tough task for the offense, but Iowa will need production from all three phases, and maybe we'll even see a big return from the special teams. Hawkeye headquarters reporter Adam Rosso caught up with a couple Iowa specialists to get some tips on fielding punts. All right, everyone, we're going to do something a little bit different today. I got two of Iowa's punt returners, Amani Hooker and Kyle Gronowig, with me to help me return and catch some punts. So right now, Kyle, let's start with you. How long have you been doing this? Have you always been a skill and a return guy growing up? Uh, yeah, back in seventh grade when I started, I think, I think everyone on the team just kind of had the opportunity to, you know, our coaches just said, hey, can everyone come try and catch punts and stuff like that? And it was something I was interested in, and I kind of just never looked back since. All right, Amani, how about you? Is this something you've ever done since Pee Wee in Minneapolis, or when did you start returning kicks? Growing up, like watching Devin Hester do it, you, you always copy, copy it in you know, like your front yard, your backyard with your brother. So, I mean, I, I've always been doing it, and then I got to high school, been doing it there. Kyle, you broke the big one at, at Illinois. You had a few close ones, got that one. How good is that feel when everything comes together? How good of a feeling is that to know all that work? You, you finally broke one. I mean, it makes really, me really happy, and also just makes me happy for my teammates. All 10 guys in front of me, you know, they block their butts off all year long. And the best feeling is that when you go into the end zone and you look back and you see them all running at you, everybody's hooping and hollering, you know, it's just a really good time. And that's, I mean, for me, that was the biggest part. I mean, just giving it back to them. They earned it. I know you said elbows in to catch the punt. Anything else you guys have pointers for me when I get back there. Like I said, I haven't caught any balls since 11th grade. I was a tight end, so. It might seem like it's going to fall shorter than it really is, so don't get too up, up close, kind of let it, let it gradually, gradually walk up to it. Look at the front of the ball. If the nose is pointed up, it's not going to die on you. It'll keep kind of drifting on you. But now if the nose is pointed down, it's going to come straight down, so you got to get underneath it. And confidence. I don't want to have any blockers out here, but confidence. I'm going to have confidence, confidence in myself that I'm going to be able to do this. So let's get this rolling. What's kind of the, the first job you guys do on the back end before the ball snap? You look at the kicker's alignment to see which direction he's you know kind of showing you, presenting to you, and then from then on, once the ball's in the air, you got to just get your elbows tight, get, your, get underneath it. The biggest thing is just having faith in your corners and also, uh, you know, like your MDM blockers. I mean, it all starts with them. They get a good block, get a good hold on, you know, on the gunners. Um, that, that really gives me confidence because I know I'm having time to you know, field this ball. Basically from there, you know like where the scheme's supposed to hit. It's supposed to go up the middle, left or right. How long did it take to get used to looking up in the air and having 10 guys barreling down at you knowing my first job is to catch the ball? You got to understand that everyone's going to do their job. And once you trust everyone else, then it kind of makes it easier for you just to focus on catching the ball. And then you just go from there and just try and make a play. All right, well, hey, not too bad, actually. Once you get the hang of it, once you get the feel for the height and the depth that it's going, I think it did an okay job. So watch this in the Outback Bowl, too, guys. Special teams could be a big key to victory for the Hawkeyes.